Good morning, Wolfpack. My name is Nisha Samra. And I'm Ron Mejia. Today is Thursday, December 7th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Seniors, yearbook portraits and quotes are due next Monday, December 11th. That means you must have taken your senior portrait by then and have submitted your senior yearbook, your senior quote in the Seniors 2024 Google Classroom. Please remember that this, your senior quote must be appropriate to be submitted into the yearbook. A failure to do so will result in you not getting a quote. A reminder for clubs, please check if you're taking your yearbook picture today or sometime during the rest of this week. If your club has signed up to take pictures, then be sure to come to the picture taking location at the time slot your club has signed up for. Red Cross is creating holiday grams for the winter season. If you are interested in sending one to a friend or a significant other, look in front of the leadership classroom all next week. Prices range from $1 to $5 and include gifts such as teddy bears, fuzzy socks, or a card of your choice. Now let's go into the news with May and Summer. Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Mehan Dimon. And I'm Summer Saeed, and we're here with your In the News updates. Starting off, a Texas judge ruled that a pregnant woman who sued the state seeking a court-ordered abortion can now legally terminate her pregnancy. Kate Cox, who is currently 20 weeks pregnant, filed a lawsuit this week asking the court to temporarily block the state's abortion ban due to her concerns of violating the law when doing the procedure. The state originally allows abortion after six weeks if a woman experiences a medical emergency and the state's attorney general office has argued that Kate's condition was not severe enough to meet other states medical exception standard and that the judge would have to ultimately change the law if she grants a temporary restraining order or if she grants the law. In other news, Sean Diddy Combs and two other men have been accused of raping a woman in 2003 when the woman was allegedly only 17 years old. The suit alleges Combs, Harve Pierre, and a third unnamed defendant took turns with the woman when she was only still in the 11th grade. On Combs' Instagram, he denied any of these accusations and, is, and in his words, will fight for his name, family, and for the truth. This lawsuit, Kate, is still developing as of today. In more lighthearted news, scientist Dr. Toru Miyazaki had discovered a solution to prevent kidney disease in cats, allowing them to live until 30. Dr. Toru Miyazaki has done extensive research on the protein AIM, which is responsible for removing waste that accumulates in the body. Malfunctions of this protein due to it binding too tightly to immunoglobulin M is what leads to chronic kidney disease in cats. His research has resulted in the discovery of the amino acid A30, which helps the protein AIM do the kidney cleanup. Pet food and medicinal drugs are being developed with this newfound knowledge and will hopefully be available for public use in the near future. Well, that's all the news we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Summer Saeed. And I'm Mehan Duman. Let's, Let's go, go back, back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. Interesting news, guys. ASB has partnered with Men's Soccer and the Elk Grove Food Bank for a food drive to support our local community. Until January 12th, Food donations will be accepted in the leadership classroom. Expired foods or foods that need refrigeration will not be accepted. PBIS points can be redeemed every Friday during both lunches in HP10. Wolfpack Performing Arts is hosting workshops for the 2024 Spring Musical, The Adams Family. The workshop takes place this week after school ending today on December 7th for dance. Auditions are January 23rd through 26th. Take a photo to screen for more information on where to meet. Band would like to invite everybody to their Term 2 concerts this week. Both concerts take place at 7 p.m. in the PAC, with 8th grade band and CUHS jazz concert happening today, and the CUHS instrumental and vocal holiday concert taking place tomorrow, December 8th. Admission is free for both concerts, and seating will be available on a first-come, first-served basis. We hope to see you there. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Nisha Samra. And I'm Ryan Mejia. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Slime, Slime Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.